You want it? It's yours, my friend, as long as you have enough terror shocks. First things first. On the low graphic settings, palettes will be invisible from a far distance. You can skip the logic path animation just by quitting and entering back. As in Bomber, you can place coffins in some illegal places by turning back and forward. You may actually get inside a cipher machine. So Hunter won't be able to hit you. Mind's Eye Cane has panoramic sound, so in headphones you can easily find out where the sound came from. The dungeon is here message will change itself if you get closer to a basement. So you can tell everyone where the basement is. If you got a fancy skin or a cool accessory which have some graphical effects, you can switch them off in settings, with that, hunters won't notice your lights and sparkles. If you like to play on high graphics, but you hate that dark effect from an injury on Moonlit Park, you can simply disable it in the settings, just like that. You can literally change the most part of the control buttons and settings, make for every character or game mode individual layouts, the more convenient you will set it, the easier your kite or chase will be. Seer will accumulate his rage for his owl, only inside your screen frame. So if you main him, consider buying a big ass wide screen. You can unlock a secret furniture store, if you have purchased an AT or higher room. Did you know that you can make a custom color for your messages? Just search a hex code for your color, copy it, and then, in the text bar, write these two symbols and paste your code in. After them, you can write whatever you want, and it will turn in your pick color. Bruh. A task from Postman's Deduction claims that dungeon is actually a hunter. For some reason, claustrophobia perk from the hunter's persona web lasts only 10 seconds, which contradicts with the statement in its description about 20 seconds. You can pierce your enemy with a blink if you time your attack correctly. Percy can ignore any stuns while doing his attack preparing motion. If his energy level is more than 50%, you can't rescue a survivor from an angle with one tap as a cowboy, so you have to aim more straightforward. As I know, with the performance graphics setting, you can see through a wall, a priestess halo. Only if she has this particular skin. So you better watch out of hunters such as Ripper, if you wear that skin. Acrobat's bombs will be twice more effective if you launch them directly into a hunter and not placing them on the ground. Yes, it is actually a thing, and you can read it in the Acrobat skill description. Wildling Spore can jump over small obstacles such as benches and low fences. Psych, he can even jump through the wall gaps. The first added characters like Thief, Lawyer, Doctor, Lucky Guy will make a noise on the whole map after getting downed. Also, under particular circumstances and conditions, they will even make a weird scream and release black blood. If Hunter have destroyed your copy from a magic wand, he will reveal his location to every other survivor. Peepers, radars, aqua mirrors can't spot an explorer at all. If you decide to go down on floor below as a gravekeeper by using his shovel, don't forget that you will leave a big hole above in which can get through even a hunter. If you have someone else on the other side of your connection, don't worry. You can accelerate his decoding without any co-op debuffs. As a hunter, you can avoid being stunned by a painter's pictures. Just don't make them appear on your screen in the active area. Thief's vaults are always fast, go ahead, abuse your hunter with them. Listen Trey can find out where the explorer is. So it still has some usability. On the Golden Cave map, you can notice that walls and other obstacles are placed in the letter forms. And they are obviously makes a word, if you place them in right order. The word is starving, I guess it has some connections with Prospector's backstory, and with accident that happened here. Dancer's slow music boxes will not decrease the decoding speed for others, but can slow down the rocket chair's countdown. And fast boxes makes all opposite. And Bomber's coffin won't give you tie turner effect, when all cipher machines are done. You can unlock an easter egg by making three other survivors bring with them a bravery mark. It will make Arms Factory and Sacred Heart Hospital creepy. Right now, the only way you can get these marks is by completing a quest in Lost Memories menu. 
entomologist's bee swarm will not make you go faster. Back then, you could take a doom shock just because Hunter was lucky. Dream Witch's followers can teleport between the floors on Golden Cave map. Try to not sh your pants next time. Joker can still enter in a priestess portal while riding on the rocket. Acrobat can jump in some windows. Or make this trick. Or even jump off the ladders. And even this. With magnets, you can launch yourself off some ladder platforms. Or even eat the f out of Hunter. Anne is the fastest walking hunter. And Hell Ember is slowest. Wildling is the only survivor that has a movement speed debuff. You can leave no copy by entering in the blue portal as perfumer. Just use your perfume after you get in the portal, then go back and use your perfume. And additional points will be added for your extra decoding, kiting, and else if you lose in a rank match. So try your best, even if your team is losing. Female Dancer has a dancing idol animation for each type of music box. Just stay long enough, and you'll see her moves. The most number of palettes has Chinatown and Leo's Memory. The least number of palettes has Red Church and Lakeside Village. Hell Ember can make a hit while teleporting to his red puppet. Just touch the attack button before getting teleported. Here's a pro tip. Touch the walk button right before vaulting something. You will make a fast vault, but silent. You can hook survivors through the windows. Mad Eye's camera actually has a proper model. What a waste of game resources. Dream Itch's followers has absolutely no weapon collision, so they will not be bumped in the obstacle like other hunters do. But guess what? They still has this animation, even with a voice. It's really hard to trigger it, but the only way I've found is make them hit an obstacle inside by using Blink. Did you know that Dream Witch has glowing eyes? Well, now you do. Same story with an entomologist, but she has an entire modeled face under that cover. Why did they even bother to make something that you can't normally see? The hardest tier in Survivor rank is mid-tier. And the easiest is high tier. Geisha can fly up there. This net on Lakeside Village will disappear if you change your graphics from high to low. There also have been power chests, which would act like a power-ups for your character. They were removed anyways. You can dismantle trial cards on fragments by choosing the same skin you have obtained, same trick goes with everything, even with the frame cards. Only this persona trait will increase self-healing. So if you main doctor and you want to heal yourself fast as lightning, max this thing up. How about to hit a hunter with your ice bomb while he is destroying a pallet? Trust me, he will have a very bad time with that. Why do you even need an acrobat when you can be a cowboy? Chinese server has a black lawyer. You can't roll a number on D20, lower than 10. You can still decode faster on 10% as prisoner if you just connected two machines. For some reason, developers decided to leave these pictures in Persona, which shows the old version of a rocket chairs, which have been used like this. <laughs> and the bonus thing to make it up to 70. Dima Business, это не Dima Business City. What are they gonna do now? Big black. I can get the door and white people be like Tomato. Pick up the phone! Yeah.